Weaponeer here, and it only took me a few minutes to actually finish this rifle. Uh, it doesn't take long to build an AR to begin with, and I'm really pleased. The FAB defense gear on this is, well, you know, I started uh, putting FAB, FAB defense gear on my VG58, and I really liked the way that looked. Then I went from the VG58, and I moved on to... Uh, an AK-74, and I really like the FAB defense gear on that. So I thought, well, I probably should go ahead and try it on a AR. Well, the only problem was uh, I didn't have a spare AR laying around. Um, I was missing one or two little small parts just to finish it off, you know, a little couple pins and stuff like that. And so I went ahead and I ordered the pins. It took longer than I thought. And I was able to go ahead and get it all together. And once I had it all together, then I just had to get the time to do it. Uh, since I haven't been doing a lot of videos the last couple of days, uh, as already explained in the first video there. But this right here is basically what the rifle looks like. And as you can see, that's a heck of a nice looking rifle. Now, for the ones that are going to freak out there, the bolt is open. There's nothing in there. The magazine, this time, <laughs> this time the magazine is empty. So, I just have the magazine in there just to show you just how well this magwell grip works. Now, like I said, normally... It's just like that. And like that, it works just beautiful. But how is it to put put a magazine in? Well, <laughs> if you hit the darn thing. Uh, as you can see, it, it's easy because it's like a funnel. And that funnel just funnels the magazine right in there. So, with this being so close to my microphone, it's probably driving you nuts. Now, so, the Magwell grip, love. It's got a perfect grip, especially, you know, like, like this. If you were to grab a hold of it, it, it does feel very nice. It does keep your hand off the magazine. So, that works out beautiful. The pistol grip, that works out just absolutely phenomenal. If you notice closely, I also have the carbine style of forward grip. But this is a little bit different. See, I was going to mount the standard round handguards on here. And the only bad thing about the standard round handguards, the good thing about them is they're really lightweight. And I could have mounted these on here and I would have had a four rail. The only problem is I'm sacrificing the weight and I wanted a really lightweight rifle uh, for this model and so I was kind of I was kind of stuck because I didn't want to sacrifice the ability to put a rail on so I was really surprised I, I was looking at uh, Zahal.org and they have this new grip here well forward grip here or handguard and this is the FGR-3. And the 3, I'm assuming, is stands for 3 rail. This is the 3 rail round grip. You know, the, the round grip like for like you would expect to see on, on an M4. Now, what's nice about this is it's very ergonomic. It's it narrows a bit right here. And it does that just for the rail and then your your other rails are very much forward right here right where you need them for uh whether for a laser for flashlights or anything else typically you don't need those way back here you just need them up here and this way you don't have to deal with the uh rail covers and i hate rail covers and once again fab defense it doesn't tear your hand up and they really, 
done a fine job of that. You know, being able to grab a hold of the, the forward grip or the, the hand guard and not tearing your hand up, even with you having a rail here. So it's a beautiful way to go ahead and build a nice carbine style rail, carbine style hand guard and still allow for the three rail. They did a phenomenal job on that. And one thing that they really excelled on was the fact that on, on a mil spec version, there's an aluminum heat shield on the inside. And you don't always find that on the commercial side. This one right here does have the aluminum heat shields. So it is going, and it doesn't keep it from melting. It just keeps it so it gets too hot. And if it gets too hot, you can't put your hand there. Well, this has got the aluminum heat guards on the inside and this is it's, it should just be perfect for holding on to now i will be mounting the teapot uh second generation teapot on there so that, that's going to be a little bit nicer um there's a couple other things on here that i'm going to be covering in another video and that's the muzzle brake on here as you can see phenomenal muzzle brake love that muzzle brake as well as, I got an, another muzzle brake from them as well. And also, normally you had that, you know, the rear pin, you push and pop out. And this has got a little bit different different style. Uh, I think this is called the tack latch. And I just love it. it it's, it's really cool. Uh, but I'll get into that in another video because it's some other company. So, but as you can see, the rifle, it's nice and lightweight like it should be it's not as lightweight as it could be because i got the big scope on there and everything else i can you know just take the scope off pop that off and i can put one of these on here supposedly it helps if i didn't tighten up the knobs here <laughs> Okay, here we go. And so, it looks a little bit more conventional that way. Uh, this is an Israeli scope. And it's you know, bullet drop compensating. The stock, I'm going to cover that in a separate video. This right here is another FAB stock, FAB defense stock. And I really, really love this stock. This right here is a recoiling stock so it it has a spring inside so it'll recoil or prevent <laughs> prevent too much recoil it's also you know quick adjustable so if you want to go ahead and lower it or, or extend it it's easy to do that and it, it locks up quite well and it also has a little knob here and a little knob here and you can raise it up so you've got a cheek rest for whatever type of scope. Um, for mine, I don't know about this one. Let's see about this one. Now you see this one right here, I'd have to raise it up a little bit. My other one is low enough. So, but I can actually see through the iron sights with this one. But I'll cover the, the stock as a separate video because you know, I've, I've covered everything else in a separate video except for this and basically that's what I'm covering in this video so the stock will be separate everything else as you can see I, I did finish the AR and it's, she, she's functional and you can see don't look too bad so any comments or questions about this handguard as well as the forward Magwell guard here, Magwell handguard. Feel free to post in the comments below. Um, I purchased these from zahal.org, Z A H A L.org, and they typically have free shipping on these items. And I, I always buy my stuff from them because I know it's going to be out there. You know, as soon as it's available, they're going to have it. And a lot of the stuff from like FAB Defense and stuff like that, they're they're really quick to be picking up, picking it up, just like the uh, the Teapot G2. They had it before anybody else, so very much worth checking them out. 
and the link will be below as well. So this is Weapon Air, and I will catch you in the next video. What you, what you want, what you, what you want.